welcome to We Make Stuff. Today well, we will be making stuff. stuff. More specifically, we'll be decorating a memory box with stuff that you probably have lying at home. So, as you know, and I'm not sure when this video comes out, but it's a, it's pretty near the start of the new year. So, you might have an old calendar. Calendar. And we're going to be decorating this memory box with the pictures that you can cut out of your calendar. If, like us, you have animal calendars, this will work really, 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 really well. If not, you might have something, if you have something nice in your calendar, use it. Well, I mean, if you just have random pictures of animals, you can use them. Oh, yeah. Also, if you just happen to have loads of photos of your cat, they also work. <laughs> Okay, so we started by obviously just cutting out all the little pieces and it was very time consuming and a bit boring to be honest, but yeah, here we are cutting out all the pieces. Also, so the Freddy's animal calendar, which had lots of different animals, had the little things on the back, mine didn't, so, and also the front cover, there were a few different pictures, like there was one on each side, so we didn't bother with that. Although, yeah, we just cut out all the pictures, especially smaller ones. That was the downside of using my calendar. We didn't have any particularly small pictures, but we just cut them out, yeah. Okay, so we've cut out all these photos and now it is time to stick them onto this box. No, Hi guys, um, so if you can see this, this is our lovely overhead camera stand. So first of all, we just started by um, deciding which pictures were big enough or small enough to go on the top or the sides or whatever so we I sorted them into a few categories and decide which ones we could cut so they would fit and whatever else so yeah okay so now I am just designing the lid of the box to um, incorporate as many different things as possible and leave as little as possible space showing. So I'm considering all sorts of different options, including ones that I could cut to fit. And this is my final design that I settle on. You can see it with the grey cat at the top. And there I'm just drawing around it. So since this is the final design, I know which areas are going to be bare in it. And therefore I could paint them or add anything else to them so that they... Yeah, so that it's not just some weird yellow box with drawings on it showing. And I'm also cutting around the edge of the um, picture that needs to be cut so that there's no overhang because that would just be really annoying if there was. Because um, obviously then I'd be having these weird bits off the edge. So I just need to make sure that I cut that. And yeah, that's all I need to do for now.
So as you can see, I painted the areas that needed painting and I also painted right around the edges because I thought that would look nicer. And also I think this blue really goes with the yellow, which is good because that means if I do have empty space, which I left the yellow, it would actually look quite cool. So therefore, I'm just now deciding to um, put the design on top of the paint and just double checking that the paint covers up every area because I have a little bit left, I think, probably. I don't know. And here I am just laying it all out. And yeah, now I'm sticking it on because with I'm just using PVA glue here. I mean, you could probably use some other special type of glue, although it's just sticking paper on cardboard, so PVA glue does the trick. So. Okay, so here I am just adding the um, little picture of the free bats to the side of the memory box because there was space and it fitted and I decided that that would be a really nice thing to just do to it. Um, and yet again, using my PVA glue because, yeah, why not? Why not use PVA glue, right? Um, and then we decided to use Freddy's label printer because Freddy has a label printer to print out Freddy's label freddy's memory box to go on the side because we thought that would look quite cool and it goes and it doesn't clash with the blue or anything so we decided we'd go with that and i tried both sides and it looked quite good on both both ways although we decided to put it long ways mainly because it meant that we had less draw put images to put on just saying and the other long ways side we put the other way around so then we had all these little images and we decided to put them down the sides of the long ways so I divided them into two different groups so they'd have similar things on each side so I had um and then just glued them onto the sides although so my groups were ones with three in ones with a horse in ones that are predominantly green and brown and ones from the arctic I think um so yeah and they do have little months in them although we decided that didn't really matter so and I put them in a similar order on each one so they, it was symmetrical because I like that. And here I am. So on the shorter sides, I decided to put bigger pictures of cats in, across the lid and the box. Um, which actually turned out to look quite good. Sorry, the camera's a bit shaky. I'm sure I showed you my dodgy camera stand earlier. So, yep, yeah, I just cut that with a craft knife after I'd glued it down. And here we are. So... There's the lid on the box, it looks pretty good. So then we decided to just coat it. We did both sides. And also be careful that you don't stick any excess down on the sides. And I'm just cutting off the excess whilst we're doing the coats. So yeah, when you're, we use PVA to varnish it because we had loads and loads of PVA left or to coat it or whatever. Um, so make sure you just snip off any extra bits so that, especially on the bottom as well, which people don't always think of because it can not stand up very well if there are bits hanging over the bottom so yeah just a thing to think about it and also this was like one last review checking everything's the way we wanted it although here's the finished product and we really like it so thanks for watching yep so it has the four little pictures on each side it has the lid that you've seen a lot then it has this cat picture on one side and then obviously the other side also has the four little pictures and says freddy's memory box and okay guys so here is the finished product i know that i helped mo i did most of it on camera although friday helped a lot off camera especially in the sealing stage another thing we'd just like to mention is we found that these labels kept coming up a bit and therefore we put like a thin row of thing of clear tape over it and it's added a bit of gloss and i don't think it actually looks that bad although here you are freddie here is your special memory box thank you um with animals on it mainly baby animals and cats yeah there are a few little rough spots but that doesn't matter oh no that's not a rough spot that's just the photo i mean even if it, there is a rough spot it looks better than it was before yeah it looks a lot better than the plain old stew box and that i like that there are little blank bits and that it's painted blue and also it's got cats on. yeah and it's got cats on also we couldn't be bothered to actually but i didn't i couldn't be bothered to paint everything so there are blank bits although i decided that we decided that the yellow because was... when it's closed you don't see that you don't see it and also the yellow is fine it's just plain yellow and the yellow actually goes quite well with the blue so yeah here we are cool finished product so freddy's gonna go put his stuff in it and thanks for watching see you next week okay. bye
Um, I, I was going to get you to join in when we say oh, bye. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you next week. Bye! Oi, friends. What? Oh, sorry, I went in your boot. Oh, my okay, so I was editing the videos, and in the last video, you look really sad. Can you testify that you weren't sad? Oh, yes, so I wasn't sad, I just looked sad. I don't know why, how it just um, showed it to me. Um, yeah, I don't know why I look sad. Although, I'm happy with my memory books, I love it. So, guys, don't worry, it's not a bad thing. I love it. I'm sure how it likes it too. Yeah, sure. Well, it's not mine, so I don't have to. Oh, yeah, anyway, no, I, like I it. love it. So yeah, bye okay. guys. See you on Sunday. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm going to try bye. out my wellies.